What is the foundation of Buddhism? From my understanding is that Buddhism and Buddhist people believe that all life is about suffering. And so how can we suffer less? How can we escape suffering? And Buddhism talks about the yin yang, the balance of the two forces of dark and light, and that one should walk the middle path of not being too extreme on either end. And to find subtlety in everything, to minimize our desires, to minimize our wants to the point where we don't attract any dark forces, and to purify ourselves to the point where the real shines through, which is a light within, and to purify the external darkness by having no desires and having less desires, by living simple. And Buddhist people believe in reincarnation. They believe that there's many, many lives that people go through because there's so much evidence in reincarnation that it's hard to deny that people have gone through many lives on this earth. And when I first came to know Christ, Jesus Christ, the Christian world, I, first of all, didn't think that anyone should take my karma onto their own self, because if I'd done wrong, I should clear my own karma. I should be able to right my wrongs myself. I can, I don't need another being coming into my life tell me, telling me what I did wrong and then helping me take um, take away my karma. I just felt like that's how that's the frame of mind that I had. And I also believed in balance, in having the yin and the yang. Having a balance of dark and light forces within me and that I am, um, that I couldn't live without the dark forces. And I believed in reincarnation. I didn't, I didn't think that Jesus said, oh, we only have one life, but how do you explain all those other people who've gone through reincarnation after reincarnation? And, and some of them even remember their past life and they can go back and prove it with special secret um, knowledge that they had of that particular person that only their mother would have known, you know. It's just stuff like that. And I couldn't explain that and I didn't really want to believe that anybody can walk on water and just it was to me just seems and then and on top of that they wanted the people to act like sheep to follow the rules and to that we didn't have our own mind we couldn't do our own thing we had to be obedient and that just seemed like dominance and control and I know a lot of people have issues in that arena. And it wasn't only, it was only until I decided I'm going to look into this Jesus person. I'm going to see what it's all about and I'm going to debate and I'm going to have something to debate about because right now I don't know enough about Jesus to debate and I wanted to know more so that I can put down Jesus in that sense and I could I could debate it with a Christian easily because then I'll know what to say in their language. And I started this walk and now I started to question reincarnation because from my understanding of reincarnation is that they reuse our souls to repeat, to send us to the moon. This is another, this, these are the alien, this is the alien group where they study people who have been abducted and people who come back from the other side and said that the moon is a brainwashing station where the souls are captured and, and drawn and lied and cheated and led to the moon where their souls are reprogrammed and wiped out, all their information wiped out, and they sent back onto earth to experience pain again and again, never-ending 
reincarnation, never ending karma, never, you know, just paying back karma or being paid back and just it's just a never ending cycle. And so putting the two to two together with the people from the alien group and who are saying that the moon is a brainwash system a, and a brain wipe out system. And there was spirits that told us that we're telling people to never to don't walk not to walk into the light that is hazy and because that's the light to the moon and that is the place where you won't remember who you are and you get spit back out so that explains reincarnation yes there is a reincarnation but is that a good thing maybe not and if Jesus and his salvation can keep people from being reincarnated and reincarnated and used with emotional trauma to, to feed the energy of trauma in the world, what if there was such a thing as salvation from that, from that the, the recycling of souls?